Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be taking a look and demoing Thrive Themes. More specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the plugin as a part of Thrive Themes known as Thrive Leads. Now, if you want to become a member and check out all the things that Thrive Themes has to offer, you can actually check out the links down below. And if you want to see our other videos that we've done on other portions of Thrive Themes, be sure to check out the description down below. Like I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at specifically Thrive Leads today. Thrive Leads is a part and plugin of Thrive Themes that allows you to build your mailing list really, really fast, really efficient, and really, really easily through their plugin. They do things like really great design tools uh, to make really great light boxes and different elements or opt-in forms, um, give you really great tracking and statistics, as well as more advanced targeting. And with that said, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So here we are at our dashboard. The th way it works is you install your Thrive Leads to your WordPress blog. You can do it through a self-hosted blog, or if you use WordPress.com, you just have to have the plan that allows you to install third-party plugins. And once you have that, you simply install it. You'll see under your dashboard here, you have now Thrive Dashboard and Thrive Leads. Um, and let's just go down the kind of dashboard here. So first and foremost, uh, when you set up your blog and you install Thrive Leads, you'll get, of course, your summary of everything that's being tracked. And since I just set this up fresh here to demo it, you can see there's no impressions, there's no conversions. But as you, of course, use this on your site, you'll see all of the impressions, you'll see all the conversions and your conversion rate. So all of the um, you know ideal statistics. Now, the first thing you can be able to create here is what's known as your lead groups. These are really effective because um, these allow you to create your opt-in forms, essentially. You, things like you sign up to your newsletter, you know, buy this ebook, um, you know, join our email list or whatever it may be. Now, with the great thing with groups is you can categorize. So you can have multiple forms within one group. So let's say you're doing a targeted campaign for, let's say, ebook testing. I'm going to go ahead and say ebook sale, right? And I want to make a group with just opt-in forms specifically for that ebook. So now I can add opt-in forms into this specific group. You can see you can choose the form that you want to create. You have all sorts of options here in content, scroll mat, light box, ribbons, and more. Uh, in this case, let's just go with this basic light box here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and now add a form. Basically, this is just going to fill in the information of that light box. So I'm going to create a form here. We'll call it light box. Uh, we'll go ahead and create it. And then from here, you have the ability to see again the statistics behind that specific form. So let's say you have like Lightbox 1, Lightbox 2. You can see all the statistics behind it. You can even uh, do things like uh, change a trigger. So we've, whether you want to show on load page, wait a couple moments, do it after the user scrolls. You can change the display frequency. So in this case, by default, they see it weekly and change the animation if you want for this specific opt-in form. When it comes to editing the design of your elements, whether it's an opt-in form or what have you, the real great thing about Thrive Leads is it's built off of what's known as Thrive Architect. This is a WYSIWYG editor. You can see you get all these awesome templates here that you can choose from. So let's say I want the opt-in form for this to be this one right here. Choose this template. And it's a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. Literally, this box right here is what you're going to get on your light box. But you can see as I hover over all these elements, everything is clickable. Everything is editable. If I click on something, you can see I have the ability to edit here on the left. I can add elements. So if I wanted to add like a content box, I can simply just drag it right there. I now have a content box right there. That's simple, that easy. If I wanted to add another image, if I wanted a countdown, so I said like, you know, get this ebook before time runs out. I can add this countdown box just like that. I can change the text by just clicking and saying, you know, whatever I want, fill out this form to get your free ebook. And just like that, I've gone ahead and changed up the whole template. Really simple, really easy, just a couple of clicks. But you have so many more different elements here that you can choose from. You can add a video, you can add WordPress content, you can add a numbered list. There's just so many options here. Um, it just really is up to you in whatever opt-in form or whatever you know box you're trying to create in general. So now that I've created this light box, I can go ahead and you can see here, I have the ability to go ahead and you know um, add more forms in, and it's probably a good idea so I can show you some of the A-B testing features they have here. So we'll go ahead and create an in-content box here. Um, so now we have the in-content box, and let's go ahead and add a form for that in-content box here. So we'll go ahead and, uh, let's go back here, sorry. Add form, click on the right one there. We'll say content box. Oops, misspelling there, but no worries. We'll go ahead and edit the design. And again, we'll choose a template here, and we will work with that one. So this is a different key thing here. We'll go with a content box for the in posting. Let's go ahead and go with, I like this one right here. So we'll go ahead and choose this template. Again, it could be anything. It can say like download 
our free video, download our ebook, what have you. We'll go ahead and wait for this template to load. So in this case, I'll just change it to download our free ebook because that's the theme we're going with. Again, save just like that. All changes have been saved. I can go ahead and go back here. Um, and that's now that it's saved, we can go back to our Thrive Leads dashboard. And as you can see here, we now have two different forms. I can go ahead and choose to display them on the desktop here as a custom order here. You can choose to display them on mobile if you'd like. Um, and let's go ahead and go to a post here. And what I'm going to do, actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and change the group settings here. This is really important. I'll set the targeting options. The targeting options are you set your option forms. We've made our, you know, light box. We've made our in-content thing. How do we target it? Who do we want to target? Do we want to target just the front page users? Do we want to target people who are reading the posts? And that's where it lets you get real specific here. In this case, I'm going to say target everybody on all posts. So anytime anybody goes to a blog post, they will see this specific group of leads. Now, if I go to a post here, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. We'll wait for the page to refresh here. And you'll see we'll get the pop-up light box, and then we should get the in-content box. Just like that, the page refreshes. You see we get the uh, light box here. Very simple. I can go ahead and opt out of it. And we'll also get the in-content box right there just like that. And that's how simple it was to add it. We didn't have to go into each individual post and change it. Thrive Leads took care of that by itself entirely um, and just all automatic. And that applies to all the posts now that are on my blog, whether they're old posts or new posts. So that's how easy and effective it is to use something like the Thrive Leads lead group. Uh, but even further, one of the great features with Thrive Leads is the ability to test types of forms against each other. So now that I have two different forms, I have a light box, I have an in-content box, I can tell Thrive Leads to test against each other here. And what this does here, I'll just call this a test, basic test, this will start tracking the uh, clicks in, in the, based off the start date on the in content or light box. So for example, do more people opt in through that light box that pops up when they first get to the blog post or do more people opt in and fill out forms based off of the in content opt in form. This allows you to look at your statistics and see which ones work better. That way you can tweak your campaigns, you can tweak your targeting more effectively. And again, anytime you have more than one form, you are, you have the ability to set up these A-B tests, which is really, really powerful. Uh, moving along here, you have things like lead short codes. What these allow you to do if you just choose to add a new short code, um, basically it allows you to get these codes right here. So if I copy this, I made this one earlier. Uh, basically, you can create a form. You can create any form you want um, that you see fit. So it can be like a light box. It can be an in content. It can be a slider. And then from that point on, if you want to reuse that specific opt-in form across your blog, you simply just copy this code right here. Uh, and then if I go to uh, a blog here, so let's go ahead and go to this test page that I have. Um, I can just go ahead and go ahead and clear all this information here. And I'll just paste this lead, this short code in. And then if we preview it, you will see that just like that, I have that specific form always ready to go. So let's say you have this like default form that's like sign up and join our newsletter and you want to always, you know, that's something that you probably want to put in certain places. Anytime you're in your blog, whether it's a page, whether it's a post, you simply just go to your dashboard, copy that Thrive short code, and you just paste it wherever you want. And just like that, that Thrive Leads form will be wherever it is that you pasted it. That simple, that easy. Um, Thrive Boxes is a little bit similar, which is allows you to get a code um, but these are much more pop up. So in this case, I made a Thrive Box demo here. I can go ahead and edit it here if I wanted to see the design. Uh, in this case, it's just a box that pops up. Um, but this right here, so you can see the box right here. So I can say, for example, like sign up and, you know, join our newsletter. Again, it's just a basic one that you see a lot. And I'll save it. Uh, now what that does, I have this Thrive Box link. If I go back to Thrive Leads or go back to my dashboard, scroll down, I can copy this Thrive Box right here. And then what happens here is if I go to a test page, let's go ahead and edit this again. So I'll clear it. I'll say this is text. Um, this is text. Or I'll say this is a link. And I paste this right here. This is the Thrive Box. Anything that goes in between these two brackets right here is the trigger. So let's say I had a link that said like, um, let me go ahead and you know put it right here. So I'll say like this is a link. 
and then I'll go ahead and preview that. And now what will that what that will look like is it'll change the preview page here. So we'll wait for this to change. You can see I now have my test page, the text right here, but you can see this is a link is actually clickable because if I click on it, the Thrive box will now pop up just like that. So again, you get the idea behind it here. Um, with Thrivebox, you can kind of hyperactively make any element, uh, you know, clickable, and, and, and it, you'll get a opt-in form that pops up. So if you want to have like a sign up to our newsletter, just a basic text, or click here to get a special offer, or those type of, you know, um, leads. It's just that simple with Thrive uh, boxes there. Last but not least is the sign up segue. These are what's known as one click sign up links. What these are with Thrive Leads are they make the process of things like, for example, like webinars much, much more easier. So traditionally, you'll see sites where you go to the site, you have to like fill out a mailing list, and then you get the mailing list, and then from there you get a link to sign up to a meeting. If you want to, you know, attend a webinar, it's this whole convoluted and multiple step process. With Thrive Leads, the sign up segue links make it as simple as just clicking once. And then from there, they're automatically enrolled uh, into the services. Now, in this case, I'm using GoToWebinar as an example here. Um, I have my redirect settings set so that it's a single redirect. So as soon as they click on this link, not only will it sign them up to the GoToWebinar and, and enroll them, it will go ahead and then redirect them to wherever I want them to be redirected to, whether it's like a page that's confirming it or what have you. In this case, I'm just sending them to the test page. Um, so now with this link here, I can go ahead and copy this link. and I just want to show it to you here. Um, how it works. So basically you'll get up this sign up demo link and you can just paste it and then people can just go ahead and click on that link and it'll work just like that. You can, that's it. It's really that simple. Uh, but furthermore, you can even, so you can see here, uh, if you, if I scroll through the link here, let me go ahead and copy just the plain text of the link here. So let me go ahead and just like, if I was to show you the plain text here, you can see at the very end, you have brackets here you can literally just supplement this name and email with whoever it is you're sending it to. So let's say you're sending out a massive or, you know, a newsletter using a mail program, email marketing program. You can literally just take your sign up link and then apply it to the name and email of the person you're sending it to. So you can say like, Hey Joe at Joe at gmail.com. You just fill these in in the brackets there. Um, just click on this link and this is specifically for you to sign up to a webinar and Joe clicks on the link. It signs up his email to your webinar and it automatically redirects them to wherever you want to go. Really, it's it's that easy. So you just have to fill out these two brackets when you're sending it to a uh, personal user if you want them to sign up to a webinar via the link. It's that simple and that easy. Again, so you have so many different elements here within Thrive Leads, all powered behind great ways to you know edit and and create your forms and and you know really track them here you can you know do a b testing to see how things are doing against each other which ones perform better which ones do you know worse um you even have a lot of great other features like you have asset delivery which is an advanced feature um this is really cool too if you click on this you have the ability to go ahead and automatically send out downloads to new subscribers so let's say you have like a pdf form maybe you have like a welcome document when people sign up to your blog or like a reports document um, and you can have it all automatically done so that as soon as they sign up, um, it automatically sends them out a PDF or sound, sends them a downloadable thing as soon as they join. So it's really simple. Again, you just set up your email delivery service, you pick your default email template that you want it to be delivered in, and then you give them that first download link. So whatever the thing that you want them to download, they can go ahead and do that. Um, and again, that's just one of the many features built into Thrive Leads. So many great ways for you to go ahead and create um, and, and optimize the lead generating experience. If you're looking to get more leads, whether it's like to boost your ebook sales, whether it's to sign people up to your newsletter, Thrive Leads is definitely something you need to check out. So again, Thrive Leads are a really great way to change the way that you get opt-ins and leads on your site. Really great plugin will not slow down your WordPress blog. It keeps it running efficient. Um, and again, just a really small footprint on your overall WordPress install. That being said, when it comes to uh, Thrive Leads, if you want to get it, you have options to go ahead and sign up to Thrive Themes. There are two options in particular. First off, you can pay a one-time fee starting at $67, um, and that comes with unlimited updates. Um, or you can choose to become a member. Um, and this is really effective because with Thrive membership, this is $19 a month. You can pay that annually or you can choose to pay that quarterly depending on your preferences. Um, you get access to all of their products that they offer you uh, through Thrive, Thrive Themes. And that includes other stuff like obviously the Thrive Architect that we showed you that allows you to build those really cool opt-in forms. That extends into things like Thrive 
um, themes. You can decorate a whole blog using that kind of WYSIWYG editor. Um, Thrive Leads, like I mentioned, Thrive Ovation, Thrive Ultimatum, Thrive Op Headline Optimizer, and so much more, um, all through um, the Thrive membership. So you can either go with a one-time buy, um, or you can choose to sign up for a complete membership package and get access to a lot of different great plugins and themes that are included with Thrive. Um, again, if you want to see more videos that we've done on some of the other plugins, be sure to check out the links down below. And again, as always, your purchases are secured and protected by the 30-day money-back guarantee and that HTTPS protocol, so there's no risk on your side at all. Again, if you're more interested in checking out uh, you know, things like Thrive Leads and Thrive Themes, be sure to click on the link down below. Thanks for watching.